It's been a part of Vancouver's art scene for nearly a decade. The monthly First Friday Art Walk showcases the work of local artists in downtown art galleries, restaurants, and businesses. First Friday is the brainchild of Vancouver's Downtown Association. The goal, to encourage people to experience what downtown Vancouver has to offer. This time around, there are two First Friday Firsts. Artwork is being displayed in the new City Hall for the first time. There are three exhibits here, one by nationally recognized fiber artist Janice Arnold, and for the first time, student art is included. Two of the exhibits feature the creative talents of high school students in the Evergreen School District. We've continually talked about how to get more of the community involved and how to get our youth involved, and that very quickly became a conversation around, wouldn't it be great if we could see art from our students, especially from the east side of town, and bring it downtown and show it off? And so I approached the Evergreen School District and suggested maybe we could do an art show of some kind in City Hall. Uh, after some conversation, we realized that a photographic show would work, and it would be great to take it to the high schools and say, how about making photographs of my Vancouver? And we thought a little bit, well, maybe we want to give them a little more guidance, so came up with the theme of uplifting images of Vancouver as seen through the eyes of our youth. Variety on these walls is great. Everything you think of Vancouver, things that you drive by every day and never really look at or notice, um, you'll find some of them here on the walls. It's called Supply of Life, and uh, I was just driving down, and I really... Um, I took a picture um, earlier in the year of the Space Needle when I was up in Seattle and I just really like that architecture type stuff and so when I came across this I was like oh my gosh that's like perfect. Students from the district's four high schools submitted digital photographs for this exhibit. The idea of doing this was really really kind of fun. It hit at a kind of a pressure time but gave the kids a little bit of a break from you know, finishing up the school year and let them express themselves a little bit differently than maybe some of the mandatory assignments. It's called Vancouver Skies. It's just the skies in Vancouver. It was probably the end of winter and um, Mr. A told me to get what Vancouver is to me and there was just beautiful skies for a week straight so one day I finally got the perfect image. The second exhibit combines the talents of high school and elementary school students. What we have here is an exhibit of art from Union High School. The teacher at Union is Erin Piccolo, and the assignment that she gave, first of all, she solicited some art from elementary schools, and the theme was monster art. So she had the elementary students draw a picture of a monster. Then that art was collected and redistributed to the high school students at Union High School. And so then their assignment was to create a painting based on their impression of the elementary student's monster. Well, I think it's amazing. You know, when I look at the creativity, look at this one right here, where we have a pencil drawing with just a little bit of red here for the tongue, but then we look at what the, what the realized painting that the high school student did. Um, it, I think it's just an amazing demonstration of, you know, first of all, what a monster looks like through the eyes of an elementary student, and then what that monster would look like more through the eyes of a high school student. The photographs and paintings will be on display through September, a golden opportunity for these young artists. It's awesome, especially with how long it's going to be up here, like all throughout the summer. And it's a great opportunity to display the students' artwork. And Evergreen School District really cares about the artwork. And it's great that they're doing this to really show what we can do. It may be the first time student artists participate in Vancouver's First Friday Art Walk, but Jack Berkman is pretty sure it won't be the last. It's wonderful. Uh, I look forward to next year. I'd like to see us do this again and involve even more youth. Ideally, I'd like to see this turn into an annual exhibit for our youth.